Let's get one thing straight. This ain't a serious playthrough of Elden Ring. Like, seriously, I'm playing on New Game Plus 3 here. Anyways, let's talk about the rules of the run. We can only kill enemies while mimicking enemy or boss. We can only use spirit ashes that are direct enemy and mimicking. Oh god, all that? Good. Because I didn't. Also, a good thing to know that some bosses can't be fully replicated. For example, Margaret or Red Wolf are riding on. In those cases, I'll just simply mimic an enemy that is in the area, so it's, you know, still related to the boss in question. But, uh, if you have a problem with that, you can kindly shut the hell up, alright? Good. It's also good to note that this stuff takes time, and it will be a two-part series. I'm sure you guys and people can wait for that, you stupid f Anyways, enough of that blabbering. Let's go into the actual run. This is Stormvale Castle, the place you need to go. But I think it's safe that we actually, you know, get the first mimic run, so can we do that real quick? Alright, good, that's a little better. Anyways, let's actually go into the damn run now, enough of me talking. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Oh! Maidenless runt. We also had to take a quick detour to pick up our boys, the Godric Soldier Ashes, since we can use them. But once we got that, we're ready to face Margaret now. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. All things considered, Margo was somewhat an easy fight. The cosplay was mid-tier, the soldier ashes were doing alright. Overall, the fight was over in only a few minutes, showing my track record was pretty good in my books. Overall, for the uh, build of the Godric Soldier, compared to some of the other builds, since I'll be ranking all these cosplays after I defeated the boss they were meant to, I'm giving this Godric Soldier a solid 6 out of 10. Would not use it again. But now, this is our Godric build, which we couldn't exactly replicate, so we had to get a few creative with a few of the armor choices. But obviously, he has this great axe and a second axe, since Godric actually uses two axes. And on the second great axe, I just put a simple storm caller, since, you know, it fits the wind's attack that Godric uses. A lot. And I also made it so, when we hit phase two of Godric's side, when he goes a little choppy choppy move in his arm and he gets the little draggy draggy why the hell did I bite that in the script? Did... I don't even know where the hell he even got that from. we use the grafter dragon that's what we're using we use the grafter dragon in phase 2 so we need to know just go to the next clip already Jesus we kill Gostok because it's Gostok and Gostok sucks can we get like a little wardrobe change? Godric doesn't feel right for this thing all right, thank you. Obviously, because it's Godric, we can't use a guy named Spirit Ash, despite there being two Godrics in the game. I don't care if there's a lore reason to it. Christ, Godric so easy, I basically completed him while asleep. It's times like these where you realize, you know, maybe a build might be slightly overpowered for the boss, but it's Godric and I don't really care enough to care. Overall, with the demigod slain, I'm giving Godric build 
a solid 8 out of 10, would cut my arm off to get that dragon thingy thingy again. Yeah. Damn, this place is beautiful. Anyways, another cosplay change. Cool transition! Yeah, that's right. There's five monks in Leonio. What, you didn't think there were? Goddamn idiot. Yeah, you know, just to prove the fact for those who don't think the Phymox are in Leonia, despite them very opposite being in Leonia, I took myself a quick little trip all the way over to the Artist Shack, a little bit way over to the Eastern Table, and just to go to the Phymox camp, just to show you that there's Phymox in the Phymox camp. I don't know why the hell it came here, it's not like there's anything to say. And also, I came to the wrong one. So, I can't even get my incantations. Seven out of ten, file, didn't even die once. Oh, for the love of God, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's take a sec to look at this cosplay. Renala is a magic sphere and is in crippling divorce. Only one of those is relevant, because Renala also has 80% magic resistance, meaning every single one of our spells is all using 20% of their actual damage. This is a problem of noticing the only ability we have against Renala is spinning weapon, which, spoiler alert, absolutely suck. I'd rather cut my arm off than deal with this. In some of the clips, I even goddamn bended the rules a little by using the raid Lucarius soldiers, by going to the goddamn roads and catacombs, grabbing them, and even that couldn't even beat this one. I didn't show every single clip, but I gave this at least I got out 28 damn tries. Actually, yes, it was 28 because I had to sit through here and edit every each and every single goddamn clip. So I goddamn coming back to an arm laid off when I care less or care more. Goddamn, find a build that doesn't suck. Come on, Ronaldo, what the freaking my audio? Anyways, enough of me crying about the fact that something is clearly meant to go against me. I'm going to Kaelid now, and in case you're wondering, yes, when traveling to and from the different areas, I'll be Bloodhound Knight, because fun facts, they are trackers and hunters, so I thought it would be most fitting for them to be the character that explores most. And also, they're just cool as fuck. Jesus Christ, Kaelid is. Goddamn ruined everyone. Anyways, enough about that. Next build time. Now, a complete polar opposite to Renala. Ah, uh, we're done. He still uses sorcery, but unlike Renala, he absolutely wrecks anything in his way with colossal swords, colossal gravity, colossal. Goddamn weight. I'm heavy rolling in this crap. I had to literally make a pit stop to the Great Jar Arsenal charm, so not heavy rolling. But anyways, enough of me talking about guy named Wait or Adon and fat shaming him. Let's go to his festival. Yeah, definitely without a doubt, uh, 9 out of 10 would gravity slam you again. And again. Oh look, that goes, that goes Hiroshima. Now, next up is the Battle Mage, which actually is in Altus Plateau. If you look by where Gold Mask is first seen, you'll see him just chilling out there. If you kill him, you get his full set. And I don't know why, but oddly enough, while playing as this, it felt really fluent. Even though looking at the clips and I wasn't doing my best performance at it, I enjoyed playing a Battle Mage way more than I should. Even though I like faith more than intelligence. It's making me reconsider my whole viewpoint on Elden Ring if I'm playing the game right. Anyways, we go to fight the Draconic Tree Sentinel and use Battle Mage Hugh, since we are a Battle Mage. And also we do what we do as a Battle Mage and use our Cannon of Pymo, which the Battle Mages use. And while fighting as a Battle Mage, I noticed that while fighting as a Battle Mage is pretty easy when you're staying at range since you're a Battle Mage. Also, Battle Mage Hugh die because he's a Battle Mage and Battle Mages suck. 
But luckily we're a better battle mage than battle mage you, so we battle mage our way and kill the draconic tree sentinel by being a battle mage. Can we get a counter of how many times I said battle mage? Alright, thanks. Now in the royal capital, we cosplay ourselves as the Langdale Knight, or Ancient Dragon Cult Knight, whichever you prefer, and walk through the capital, and nothing bad happened. Also, just a little tidbit here. Yes, Godfrey up here we can actually, you know, copy since it's just Godfrey. But I don't want to copy Godfrey, so I'm just gonna leave that to later and run and keep going as the Lane Down Knight. And additionally, I was thinking of going as one of the guardians you see me killing here, but I decided to keep as the Ancient Dragon Cultist because there's also an Ash of War, an Ancient Dragon like Kristoff that you'll see me using, that I can actually use in the fight. And I like Kristoff, I used him in my main run, he's a chill dude. He invites you to parties, he breaks your back, steals your barbecue, takes your wife, leaves the with the dog, leaves the horse <laughs> Oh yeah, right, God of Fire was easy. Uh, 7 out of 10 are uh, golden. Anyways, can we switch over to Molgot now? Here's the lot cooler one. Yeah, there we go. This is the part of the run where you actually start getting the cool Ash Awards now. And you actually start getting creative how I mimic these guys. As you can see, I have a little stave here that I use with the different magical weapons, which is to mimic the holy weapons that Morgoth uses. I have carrying slices, carrying piercing, and gavel of Heimer to mimic the weapons he uses. Anyways, enough of me blabbering. We bully a guard and black knight into a corner. No, for our boy Godwin. And we accidentally summon Melina because, uh,. I'm too used to summon Melina because I suck at the game. Graceless, tarnished. What is thy business with these thrones? Ah, Godric the traitors. The twin traitors, Mikola and Melania. Traitors, Dan. Traitors, Rikard. Luna, traitors, Rani. Willful traitors, all. I'll be honest, the Morgoth fight was actually a very fun thing. We're at the part of the game where boss fights are actually more evenly based. So, you know, I was getting good shots in Morgoth, he was getting good shots in me. Probably because we're using the exact same stuff. But anyways, I really enjoyed this fight. I can guarantee, because this one now feels equal, every single fight after this is gonna feel like absolute hell. Uh, Morgoth thing, solid. 9 out of 10, love the Omen boys, would shun him to the sewers again. And hey, would you look at the time? I guess this is my outro, huh? Well, I'm currently working on part two. Comment any uh, mimic builds you would like to see in the future, and I would try to adapt them in. If you put it in a stupor, and I will ignore you. Well, this is the outro. See ya.